Welcome to this Ready to Craft. In this video, I'm going to show you a painting technique using corn cobs and ready board foam board. To begin, I've picked up some corn from my local grocery store. We're gonna have to pull off the corn husks first. I'm also going to break off this end. Try to pull off as much of the stringy corn silk as you can while you're shucking them. Now I'm going to use some skewers to create handles. Carefully press them into the ends of the corn. Now I've got my foam board set out and a couple different colors of paint. I'm going to apply my different colors randomly. Then press the corn onto your foam board and roll. Depending on your corn, you may need to angle your corn cob as you roll. Feel free to go over any spots. You can see it makes a really interesting kind of snake skin pattern. In preparation to paint the second half of my board, I'm not going to be so concerned with keeping the paint colors separate. You can see that I already have some of the paint blending on the corn cob. And once again, roll. Here's a close-up of the texture that you get. You can also use this method on black ready board. For this one, I'm using white paint, a metallic copper, and black. You might not think that black is a very good idea, but I happen to know that my paint is slightly darker than the paper on the foam board. Here, you can see how I have applied the paint in a sort of patchwork style. And then just roll it on. Allow that to dry. I'm not going to use my whole sheet of foam board, so I'm going to pick some sections that I find particularly interesting. This one I've decided to create panels to be hung on a wall. From my white ready board, I've cut some 4 by 4 inch squares, then applied a clear layer of polyacrylic to all of them, and used them as coasters. If you try this craft out, we'd love to see it. Our social media links can be found in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's a foam board craft that you would like to see a ready to craft of, let us know in the comments. 